Hello, today we're gonna see a demo of WhatsApp integration with Salesforce. So this is our home page. We're gonna see this page when we log in on our work. Now from here we're gonna click on app launcher and we're gonna click WhatsApp. So we'll see one app named WhatsApp, click on that. It will open WhatsApp app UI. Now this is the main component here of this project, WhatsApp configuration. Now here we're gonna add all the details of our meta account. So for this, it's required that you have a Meta business account. From there, you will get all this detail, app ID, WhatsApp business account ID, app secret, user access token and all those stuff, okay? So you have to copy those all detail and add here and then click on save. So it will establish communication between WhatsApp or you can say connection between WhatsApp and Salesforce. Then we have one more. Next step is dynamic objects and fill. Now from here as by reading the text, by configuring this setting, you can view or initiate WhatsApp chat associated with the mobile number on the record page of selected objects. Now let me select account here and I'll select phone fill as mobile fill of this object. Edit, okay. Now I'll go in record page of accounts as we have selected account. Now here I have one record here, name West India Company. Here I haven't chat yet, so it will gonna show me initiate chat with template and wait for customer response. Now what is this showing is that if you want to in initiate a conversation, you have to send template first and wait for the customer response. Or if customer send message first, then you can start the con conversation. For right now. Let me start this conversation. So I'll click on select template. And first of all, what is template? So template are created on meta side, which we can send to our customer when we want to start our conversation. So we have pre-created template records, which are approved by meta. Okay. So let me show you first of all, how can we create this? So when we click on new button, we'll get two options meta template and standard template meta template are the template which are affiliated by meta or we can say approved by meta and standard template are the template which we created inside our salesforce and it will store in salesforce there are no role of meta on this type of template so we require to create first of all meta template so meta submit these are the field which we want to fill like template name category language header if, if you want image or text whatsoever body and variable footer so you have plenty of options here and then you have to click save and send and you have to wait for response if template are good to have then it will show you status as approved and it will gonna show in this record okay so now back to our record now i'll send one template here so this is preview of sending template so select template okay let me select whatsapp and salesforce template here okay you, you can also view the preview of our template if it has image or text or whatsoever like we have image plus text so here yeah, you can see that and send you can see we send one template right but again we can't type anything like to initiate conversation and send approved template from Facebook so we have sent one but it was uh, we are waiting for customer response now now as we have started here we can see this chat in our whatsapp web also so let me click and open that page okay here we can see West India company we have sent one message here and it is still uh, going on so we have to wait for some time Okay, let me wait for one minute or maybe some seconds. Okay, as you can see it has been blue ticked 
so it has read, read by the customer of West India Company. So now we are waiting for their response. Okay. As soon as we get a response, we have opened all things which are locked previously. Like we have now option type message. We can type message. We can upload files or drop file. Whatever you wanna do. Okay. So like first of all we're gonna chat from WhatsApp chat only because what WhatsApp web I mean. Now it has showing me type message. So I have already typed so let me add that only. Okay. Now I'm gonna paste in this section and enter. Okay, so as you can see I have sent one message. Okay. And it has already double tick so it has sent it once the customer read it will gonna turn blue and we can carry forward our conversation okay now on the upper side okay i get response from the customer nice see we also have added function functionality like you can add bold italic strike through in your string or what whatever message you are typing so these are some additional functionality now you can see on the above side the chat is active until and there there is some clock right which is going going on so now this is the thing like uh, the con conversation expiry time so we have 24 hours till this conversation expired if a client doesn't respond further okay so what happen if 24 hour pass then I have to start conversation by sending mail or I have to wait till customer response from their side okay now we have plus sign here so as it as this record already save in our uh, salesforce org so it will wanna show us action if there is no record and there is unknown record then we will gonna have option for create record like for account contact or for whatever objects but right now we have option for select actions okay let me refresh once so now let's see this okay i think it's not working but yeah fine let's move on to next thing okay we have one more thing is that favorite like as we have tabs here so we're gonna click on this I'll just show you quickly click on favorite and that chat will be showing your favorite tab also okay now we can view the details of this record West India company when I click on this open account info as it's shown I click on you know, on right hand side there will be a window which will pop pop out and I can see some details of it like name type number account owner bill, billing address and more and then i can view related list also if it has like it has one contact so when i click on this or open a new tab let me do that okay it's not so i have to click on it so let me click on this and it will redirect me to the contact list which are related to this accounts So yeah so this is just for a demo purpose okay and now at the upper side you can see send and receive we have sent it two message and we have received two message so this is like statistic of our incoming and outgoing messages now if you want to redirect to this particular record page you can click on this name and it will nav navigate to that record page like if I click on this it will navigate me to account West India company record page okay now what we can send now if I want to send some documents so I'll click on upload files uh, download and I have download one PDF okay and I'll just click send see I just have sent it on PDF in this call. Okay. So we can send text, we can send document, 
and if I have an image let me show you one image so it will okay don't know share this only so on image you can see thumbnail of this so you can preview the image which you have sent and same wise if I receive anything from the client I can download that so let's wait for their message So as you can see we have sent everything. Now we'll wait if customer send us media file then I'll wanna show you how that looks like. Okay. So we have received an image from Best India Company and I'll just click on this and it will wanna download that. Okay. See? The file is down downloaded in our local storage. Now we have one more option that if you want to this uh, 360 view of record opens on every record then you can click on default open so even though whenever you open this tab again it will gonna show you this detail view without opening those thing like this way and if you don't want to you then just default close and you can close this okay okay so the action thing which I'm telling you pre previously so there select action to create related record now we can create a related record for this so let me task uh, add new task and click on next okay send mail for this company this is for just demo okay due date would be Friday West India company okay okay not started and save yeah I just as task has created from here only so we don't have to require to go anywhere we can create all those action from whatsapp web only now we have added one more thing is that you can send message to new whatsapp number we can say unknown okay so let me click on this and before going forward to this let me show you one more thing that we have done like when whatsapp configuration whatever object we sell, selected here we can add that in this list so this pencil icon edit custom object tab so i'm gonna select account over to selected option and save now i'm gonna see accounts right now all account record is vis vis visible to me so if I want to send anyone uh, any message or start any con conversation I can start from here only okay but right now we wanna see uh, the unknown feature so if I don't have any number I, I don't have any record in my org but I want to send them temp template and it's a new customer so without saving into account contact or whatsoever I'll gonna click on this option which says send message to new whatsapp number I'll click on it and we can uh, add country code so India for me right now and I have added one number here okay and to them also I want to send this only temp template okay and I will now send now as you can see when I send it successfully template one more chat started here 
without name and it shows unknown if i hover to or open to tab unknown i'll gonna see this okay so without saving record di directly into object we can start conversation and we can talk to them now what if you want to save this from here only so we have added that also when you if the contact are unknown then the option will become create new record if contact are known then that comes the select action to that object or record now as we have selected in whatsapp configuration only account as object so we have here account only if we have selected others like contact lead case then we have all option here but right now it's account so yeah let's go with account the name would be yeah i have here wayne enterprise nice name by the way account name okay and i'll just save it i just save it to my account and i just refresh it and we'll gonna see that it has saved or not okay so you can see we just saved an unknown contact to an account object with name is wayne enterprise okay now we have seen template and all yeah bulk bulk messages so in bulk messages so let me go here and if i have these two thing right if i want to send them message at the same time then we can use this bulk message functionality so wayne and west india company i want to send them bulk messages i want to click on this send bulk messages which using flow it will open one more module of sending template and like this i'll get and here i want to send them just a simple task assign template and i'm going to click on send if i go and view in whatsapp web i'll see that i have sent them one same template like task assign in wayne and in west india also task assign see so we have sent it a bulk message here Okay, statistic. We can view our statistic of how how many message I have sent it today, or in this week, or in this month. So these are some dashboards from where you can view your all things statistically. automated template messages so we also has added one more functionality is that automated template messages but before going to that i want to see this bulk messages let me do this one more okay first of all clear on so you better understood okay so when i send bulk messages i do have a record where i can view them that is that sent it correctly or not so i have sent it bulk messages to two record and now i'm going to see in this that if they have received or not so yeah the message are sent total to sent delivered and seen by one only and failed none so here is a statistic of bulk messages like are they successfully sent it or not Okay. Now we can send everything, but it does have some limitations, like to files ex extension limitations. Uh, let me show you more briefly. So if I go into Best India site, Best India company, I mean, I think there's issue with my net, so it's taking some time. Now in meta side we do have some limitation which we have. 
spot it out here ok once the page loads then I'll gonna show you there ok here you can see Im image should be less than 5 MB video and audio should be less than 16 MB and document should be less than 100 MB this alone are the requirement from the meta side so we can send bigger file than this to all those extensions which we have list listed in this ok now automated template messages now this is one of the functionality which we have added recently like there are some scenario like birthday and anniversary where we want us where we want to send them template messages not manually but scheduly I mean by schedule so so we can schedule some mess message here so whenever that time come it, it will gonna send directly them a message so here just for a demo purpose we're gonna take birthday wishes here description you can add and anything but right now I'll just make it empty account okay start date tomorrow select time okay okay daily I want to see every record daily so and now from here are there any field which says birthday I don't think so there will be any field no there are no field but we can create one custom field here and then we can add for just uh, but right now we can just create one thing like uh, name ok let me categorize it with name equals to I want to have win enterprise and set add condition if you want more and we can add another thing like let me see in contact do we have any of the birthday field by standard I think so there will be contact field I mean birthday field in this ok yeah there are but this object is not com configured yet so let me go in this let me just quickly configure this contact and we are gonna see that scenario right away so you better understand ok contact field should be phone right now and add I wanna refresh this page and we wanna see that whatsapp has started here ok and as the number are same it will gonna here also it will gonna come chat history here also now for birthday specifically I wanna add some birthdates here so let me September 3 and let me make him Gen Z ok and it will end September 1 it's good ok now I'm gonna save this ok so now I'm gonna again and click on automated template messages now I'll click on new now as we have configured object contact we will gonna see that also see you can see contact now again we'll do birthday wishes ok description can be anything contact start date I want from today only start time at what time you wanna wish that they send template so I want to wish them to send at early at 6 am I think people have a figure at that time frequency should check daily weekly monthly daily so no rec record can be skipped select field now we have condition here like and or none if you want to send all record then we can select none but right now we have some condition that whose birthday is today send those only so birthday is today is true ok we have wrote our condition and then we gonna select template so happy birthday which is our template which we have created in our meta site now here we can save so we just created one birthday wishes 
which is gonna okay recently you gonna confuse with these two things okay So we just created one record here of automated template messages. So at 6 a.m., whoever record has birthday of to today, it will gonna send them birthday wishes template. Okay. During that issue record, okay, it has fetched and I refreshed the page. No issue. So yeah, it will gonna send them this template preview. Okay. This way. So that's all right now and yeah you can add as many as object you want you can active de deactivate them like if you don't want to de delete them then you, you can deactivate them from here only you can save them so that's all for now thank you so much